Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is July 6th, 2018. I went and had a piece of pie, then I went to the ocean, and then I saw during my live test that Beryl had become a Category 1 hurricane. So, we got a very active, very interesting situation happening in the Atlantic and in the Gulf and pretty much in every ocean on Earth. So, we are tracking it because this is Asteroid Fight Club and I'm Planetary Defense Commander Star Lord New Thor 7 and it has been wild. Right now, we're talking about barrel and we're hoping, praying, it shall not barrel over Puerto Rico or any of the nations because they took devastating hits from last year. But right now, Hurricane Barrel is a Category 1 on the safer Simpson wind scale. Maximum sustained winds, 65 knots or 70 mile per hour to your non-sea leggy folks. The minimum central pressure is 995 millibars and is located at 10.6 north and 45.1 west. It's movement at about 14 miles an hour. Now, the book on this thing has been that it will encounter heavy wind shear and possible dust here. So that should tear it to shreds. But everything has been so weird, man. Everywhere. You know, it's 2018. But I'm hoping, and I got a feeling, the second half of 2018 will be better than the first half. And then over here, we are now up to a 70% chance of a disturbance for, I believe, Invest 96L. And we've been watching this since its quote-unquote inception, or birth, or whatever you want to call it. Because, like, Invest's, or like tropical storm or hurricane embryos, right? As of 8 a.m., showers and thunderstorms are increasing in association with a well-defined low-pressure system located a few hundred miles southeast of the North Carolina coast. Environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for additional development of this system. And a tropical depression is likely to form over the next couple of days while the system moves slowly northwestward and stalls or meanders near the north coast of North Carolina over the weekend. That's weird. That's really weird. Interests along the North Carolina and South Carolina coast should monitor the progress of the system during the next several days. So, 48 hours, 70% chance of development. Five days, 80% chance. The fact that it's just going to kind of hang out, really creepy. I'm not creepy, just weird. Um... And so, I said, here are oceans. This is water vapor. And so, this is barrel. And it is tiny. But as Henry Margasetti had pointed out, that sometimes the tinier hurricanes have the most variables. Um, and then, this thing has been weird. And it's been churning out some clockwise weird rolly things. See how it rolls there? That goes inside. And then... What else? And then you got this giant thing. Nobody's even really talking about in the Gulf of Mexico. Under Florida. And. Under Texas. So. And Louisiana. And of course the other coastal states. Let's run down. Real quick. To give everybody a better idea. Like I said. I literally walked back in. From the beach. Because it was like a bat signal. It's like. Oh no. It is a hurricane. I gotta go. So barrel here, it has it, now it has it going south of Puerto Rico, which would be fantastic, but almost half of the model plots have it going over whatever this island is. I'm bad at geography. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Okay. But, so definitely this is an area of interest to watch because it has it having legs, making it all the way through and past and up. And these are crazy days indeed. So... It is best if you're anywhere near the coast to pay attention. Now here, this is just to have it kind of hang out and sit and spin for a while. We've had a few storms that are like that, and that is weird. And if it just sits and spins right there, doesn't that mean heavy rain possible for Virginia and North Carolina? And at any time a storm or low pressure system, especially over there, just sits and spins, that's very weird. Now remember that during winter, 
the Nova Scotia and Boston, Massachusetts area, and all through here got picked on by Nor'easters. So, that's something to watch out for. Oh, now, like I said, one thing has barrel possibly going to a Category 2. And, well, it's already to Category 1, so I guess it can only go up or down. And my estimate a week ago or so was that it could reach Cat 3. So we're close to my estimate. We're two cats away. And maybe this weekend I will go get a kitten. But I gotta finish cleaning my apartment better. If that's nice, six. Holy shit, what? Sorry. They have it predicted going to a cat one. Two have it predicted going to a cat two. And one has it going to a cat three. And this is 96. So if this has a chance of going to a cat one, cat two, or cat three. And it's just going to sit and spin. That is bad news. Or that is definitely something the East Coast should stay aware of. Everybody. I mean, if this thing has potential to go to Category 3, which means, let's go over to, once again, SpaghettiModels.com is a place I highly recommend. They have all this stuff right up from Mike's weather page. This is my favorite site. And then, of course, Cranky Weather Guy, who did this awesome, I think he's making fun of Beryl. He's saying, don't worry about Beryl. I think, I don't know. Like I said, just got back in. What does our other little cute tropical disturbance do? Well, we now have to entertain a speculative envelope due to some things that shifted about overnight. Details in the blog entry here. His blogs are awesome. And so during this, now nah, we're definitely on high alert. High awareness. Asteroid Fight Club level. For sure. Um... But yeah, this is Cranky's blog, daily, and he'll update it, and daily he breaks down the weather systems over the United States of America. Yes, he does focus a little more on the Northeast, but 90% of meteorologists do, but he does cover everywhere, pretty much, if it's, he's a, he's a super, he has a superhero attitude like me, he covers everybody. That's why I love him. Thank you, Cranky, in a very broski kind of way. And, and bromances are okay. Though, you know, like, bromance is, has nothing to do with to toxic masculinity. Uh, and, man, did you know, like, four years ago, I used to say boobs, like, once every video. But I did it in a very scientific way. It used to be kind of funny back then. I don't think it worked now. Boobs are magic. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. So, yeah, Cranky's got a great blog. <clears throat> and this is a wild situation. Like I said, this could go to a cat three, cat one, cat two. Is definitely something to pay attention to. Um, and see this thing right here. Right now, that ain't even nothing, but I don't like the looks of it. And I've been saying for two, three days that I don't know my Jedi senses are really tingling. So if that 96L has a chance of being Cat 1, Cat 2, or Cat 3, and it's just going to sit and spin, that is bad news. Wait, I had a mission. We're going to the Sapphire scale. And yesterday, there were 47 to 53,000 lightning strikes over a two hour period that extended for like five or six hours. And I've never seen it 53,000 lightning strikes in the North America region. In a two hours period. That that was a record. I've never seen that. And not only was it that, it lasted longer than most. So Cat 3 is like 111 to 129 mile, mile per hour winds. All right. So that thing's going to have 110, 120 mile per hour winds and does possibly sit and spin and churn. Then that could cause major coastal flooding issues. Wow. I'm going to have to look at the data. Because, you know, since like the start of July, I did the Thor News Heat Wave rent fundraiser. And I've done like 21 videos in five days. So I just need to go clear my brain palette at the ocean. And it really helped if you saw the video of the 
Sunrise was gorgeous. But so you got Fabio over here. He's still looking pretty and pretty compact. You got Maria, which is looking nasty over here in the Pacific and could do some major damage. And then when I was talking about yesterday, the, what is happening on the sun's bottom. You see these right here? Those are pretty giant massive. Oh, that's going to mean still pressure. So, yeah. Ooh, look at that. So, I will stay on top of it. That looks like a dragon. It totally looks like a dragon in this game of fire and ice. Yeah, that looks like a dragon. And that looks like Planet X or an inbound spaceship. Or if a soccer ball, uh, a baseball and two tennis balls were friends. Or a softball and then two tennis balls? I don't know. But yeah, definitely smoke them if you got them. Go out of your way to have fun this summer. And we are watching the weather. Because the earth changes are definitely here. And this is pressure. And so now it looks like the dragon's poop in a ball. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. 11 minutes. I will try and turn out the updates. Because I have been tracking this thing. And been saying the ocean is kind of weird. Or whatever. Water vapor. Yeah, and kind of goes in pulses, the clouds and rain systems. So, air temperature's over here, 80. Let's watch it on the models. Okay, I'll do it in the next one. It's 12 minutes. So, I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, wait, let me do a run-through. That one's always good. So, there is that. This is our moisture center. So that is churning. And if that's that's barrel or that's barrel. Lots going on. We got a lot going on right now. When I was facing the sun with a camera, my eyes would still get blasts. And so I thought, whoa. Go back, Jack, and do it again. And this is a very serious situation. Don't let my semi, it's not flippant. I just have encouraged this stuff every day, all day, while most people are arguing over really crappy bullshit political crap that won't matter today and probably won't tomorrow when we need to be adapting to this. I gotta keep a sense of humor. And look at that. Yeah, Fabio has got some legs, people. You're saying that the waters are way too cold for him to continue to develop this far, but he's got that pipeline to the equatorial jet line moisture. So, look at that wave coming down. Look at that. Cinnamon bond. Yeah, so, whoa. And the, this is what happened last year. Is these parts of all these islands and continents and countries got hit pretty hard and then right around the end of july we got hit started to get hit pretty hard and that, uh, that's what i think will happen they keep lowering the hurricane expectation thing but i'm like oh no way i wouldn't step down the level of weirdness that it's been and is that a giant arrow in there oh man we could watch this all day if i could figure out how to record my screen i could go live so that always adds an interesting element Maybe I'll work on that. Plus, I gotta do laundry. Anyway, we're at 15 minutes. That's my mini max limit for myself. But look at that. Zip down. All right. So, everybody stay cool and we will track it. But if you were in Puerto Rico or in the Gulf Coast or the East Coast, it's definitely time to pay attention. All right. No fear. Although sometimes fear causes reactions and keeps you safe and alive. Um, but we just, but if you plan and prepare ahead of time, then we just do our best and we don't have to worry or stress. 
Un okay. Stay cool. God bless everyone. Peace out.